Thanks for joining me today. This is Danny and welcome back to my FTB Unstable series. Today we are going to do a little bit of this, <laughs> a little bit of Wither Boss, and then we're going to do a little bit of Guy Guardian. So of course we need to kill the Wither Boss before we can spawn the Guy Guardian because we need to make a beacon. So I'm going to do this now. I actually, I don't really have very many good weapons right now. I have this cleaver. It's 20 attack damage, but it's really slow. Um, I don't think it's going to serve us very well against the Wither. In the past, that's been like one of my best weapons, but now it's it's just not going to work very well. So what I did is I, um, I upgraded my Nine Hells Focus, which now has Devil Bats. The bats are bigger, they're stronger, and they don't despawn right away like um, like the regular ones do. I'm just going to make a block of quartz. I've got so much quartz. Just so I can stand up here. Because I took my harness off so that I can put my Thaumium Fortress Cuirass on. That gives us quite a bit more protection. And, and these three should actually multiply each other's protection. Or, you know, somehow they work together or whatever. So, here we go. Alright, I'm actually going to eat a golden apple. And... Let's do this. Okay. Hey! Oh, there we go. Okay. That's kinda cool. It's not doing it much damage, though. Boy. Yeah, that's doing a lot more damage. Okay, we'll stick with this. Wow, he's just drilling right through the wall here. Oh, this is working pretty well. Oh, crap. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so that happened. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm losing him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. Oh man, that was scary. I dropped my <laughs> I dropped my microphone. And well, I didn't drop it. I'm not carrying it, but it fell. All right. That was uh That took a little longer than I would have liked. <laughs> but that's okay. Um If we ever if we have if we ever do that again, I think we're going to have to look into uh a slightly better strategy than that, but but that worked. We killed him. We're still alive. Man, that is quite a tunnel. There must have been some some cave there already. Crazy. <laughs> I guess it's never really taken me that long to kill the wither before, so I've never really seen I've never seen him make that much of a tunnel before. Crazy. Oh, I've made a few changes here in my base. <clears throat> um, I was ha I've been having a lot of problems with the Neotech pipes and such. So I've been kind of using golems here to do my sorting for me. We're now ready to start getting ready <laughs> to to go after the Gaia Guardian. Now that we have the Wither down, I made myself a beacon, which we will need in order to spawn the Gaia Guardian. Now if you're not familiar with the Gaia Guardian, the Gaia Guardian is an extremely difficult mob. This guy makes the Wither Boss look like a, a zombie. I mean, he's just really fast. He teleports all over the place. He's constantly pummeling you with all kinds of different effects. And, and he's just crazy. <laughs> so we're going to have to make four of these Gaia Pylons. Um, and a beacon with nine iron to activate the beacon. We do, of course, once we spawn the guy, we actually lose the beacon's effects. So, now normally what I would do, if I'm going after the guy Guardian, is I would have some crazy OP armor, like um, Flux-infused armor, or even Draconic armor, or Dark armor from Ender.io, but of course we don't have any of that stuff here. <laughs> we just have this, which is basically equivalent to Diamond armor. Well, this isn't. This. <laughs> so we're going to take our Thaumostatic Harness off, we're going to put our Thaumium Fortress Cuirass on, just like we did when we were fighting the Wither boss, um, because we can't fly anyway. Um, he, he, this guy will disable flight, and even if we could fly, if we fly out of range, he'll despawn and we'll lose um, 
we'll lose our sacrifice, which is going to be a Terra Steel ingot. That's how we're going to spawn him. Um, so what I'm going to do, because we don't... I, I'm going to try to use as much Botania stuff as possible to kind of strengthen ourselves. So the first thing I'm going to do actually is make myself a Botania Brewery because we're going to make ourselves a few brews. Brews are kind of like potions, um, except that instead of just having like one serving <laughs> or one uh, dose per thing, you actually have multiple doses. Um, why don't we put this... And we're going to need some ma a mana spreader or two. Let's actually, we might even have some. Let's see. No. All right. I guess for the time being, I'm just going to put this right here. And we're going to do this so that we can brew stuff really quickly. <laughs> so to make the brews, we're going to need to make flasks. Um, a flask is made from elfin. Actually, let's make two of them. What What's going on here? Well, I just cheated it in. There seems to be some kind of a bug that I can't make mana glass. I can make other stuff. I made a mana diamond. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, then we take our mana glass... And we throw it in our portal to Alfheim, and that'll give us Alf and... What did I just pick up? <laughs> oh, whatever. We've got our Elf glass, and then we can craft... Just like uh, potion bottles, actually. And this will make flasks. So that makes us six flasks. We actually really only need two. <laughs> so I probably didn't need to make those, all of those. But I'm going to make one. Um, there's several different flasks that we can make. If we just look up flask, we can see all these different flasks. And they're basically potion effects. And it's just like everything else in Batania. We can either right click on it or we can just toss it. And then it should start pulling mana. Oh, it's actually pretty fast. Look at that. <laughs> I love this thing. It's so cool looking. <laughs> Ding! And then we get a cool little effect when it's done. I didn't want speed. How did I end up with speed? I clicked on instant health and it showed me speed <laughs> and I didn't bother checking to see that oh it's showing me speed not instant health okay anyway um, so I guess when you click on any one of these it shows you all of them so instant health is I thought that seemed a little cheap because I seem to remember glycerine melon potato glycerine melon in other words and then the other thing I want to make is absolution absolution will remove all effects Natural hunger. So that's melon, emerald, nether quartz, and nether wart. Because this guy's going to be throwing wither at us. He's going to be throwing um, all kinds of nasty effects at us. Mostly wither, I think. Um, but I think there might be some other stuff too. Is I want to make a pa tainted blood pendant. And in order to do that, we're going to need some prismarine, which is which we can make with nether quartz. Of course, you can also get these from the um, the things underwater. <laughs> And it's this recipe. And when you make it, it basically does nothing. <laughs> if I were to wear this right now, it would have no effect on us whatsoever. It wouldn't help us at all. Um, however, oh boy, that means we're going to lose our extra V. But that's okay. I think we'll be fine. Um, but we can infuse this with a potion just like it's a flask. So what I actually want is regen 2. Woo. We put our pendant down there. We throw some nether wart, a gas tear, and glowstone dust. And it's just like making a potion flask. Except we'll have a permanent effect with this thing, but it will take mana. So we'll have to make sure that we keep our mana tablet full, or our band of mana, rather. That effect is different. Look at that. 
that's cool. And it does require a lot more mana than the um, than the flasks do. I think it's like ten times as much. Put this here. Take that off. And now we have regen two. You can see our hearts are flipping. <laughs> so if we get hurt, let's see. I hear a zombie somewhere. Go ahead, hit us. Oh, well, maybe, maybe not so much a creeper. Oh, there we go. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Look at that. Just comes right back. Nice. And he's hurting himself because of the, because of my thorns. We have all the flasks now. We have the pendant. The Tainted Blood Pendant with our Regen 2. Now there's two flowers I want to make. One of them is the Bellathorn, which damages mobs, basically. Um, I don't know how much it damages them, and I don't know how effective it will be against the Gaia Guardian, because he does have immunity to a lot of stuff. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. But if nothing else, um, the Gaia Guardian does throw a whole bunch of other mobs at us, and at the very least it'll be able to hurt them. The other one, and perhaps more importantly, is the Fallen Canade. This one gives us a bunch of regen. And this one's actually not terribly expensive either. Um, but we are going to need a mana pool there because both of these flowers will need mana. Two white, two yellow, an orange, and a Rune of Spring with the seed. Fallen Canade. Canade, Canade. I need, I don't know. So let's just put this right here for now, just for fun. And you can see I've got regen three. Oh my gosh. So then if I do this, <laughs> I get this weird bug. If you open your bubbles case while you have a potion effect, it's, uh, yeah, it's weird. Here, why don't we get away from this for a second? <laughs> Everything's just offset a little bit. And put our tainted blood tendon pendant on once, just to see if this is a um, cumulative effect. Oh, well, that's bizarre. So we don't get the effect from the flower if we're wearing the pendant. Okay, I guess we'll make a different pendant then. One more thing. Three red, two cyan, and a redstone root, and a seed. <laughs> I put my seeds away. Or maybe I only had one with me, I don't know. Ta-da! A bellathorn. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, that was actually, wow. <laughs> that was better than I was expecting. I actually killed it pretty quickly. Nice. So what's this craziness? <laughs> this is where I'm gonna fight the Gaia Guardian. Um, I'm hoping that by keeping him somewhat contained in this space, it'll be a little easier to chase him around. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping that it's low enough that he's not going to end up going up there and then shooting at me where I can't get him because that would kind of suck. That would be like totally the opposite of what I'm going for. <laughs> Hooray, structure complete. All right, I've got a, I've got our Bellathorn here. And as you can see, because I've got my monocle on, it's covering this whole space. So any mobs in this area will be damaged by the Bellathorn, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think that, I have a feeling that the guy Guardian himself is going to be immune to this, um, but we'll see. If he's not, I mean, if he is, at least it'll hurt the all the mobs that he's going to throw at me later on. This is the Fallen Canade. As you can see, it has a very small area. It's just two blocks out in each direction, so a five by five space. Um, but if I stay, I mean, I should be able to mostly stay in this area, so we should be okay, I think. <laughs> and I think that I'm going to... Oh, crap. 
Um, yeah, let's get out of the regen. There we go. I think I'm going to use my V-Stone. Because I have two wands with me. I've got my um, Thalmy Embossed Silverwood wand. And I have the Shock Focus on it. And then I have this my old Gold Banded Reed wad, wand. And I've got the Nine Hells Focus on it. The reason I did that is so that I can switch back and forth easily. Because switching between foci is takes a little time and we, we need we're not gonna have time we're not gonna have time to screw around <laughs> so i also made a spark i've got a full mana pool i made a spark and a dispersive spark augment so that way it's going to keep my band of mana full from the mana pool um, i'm pretty sure that that won't really be an issue that we're that ba greater band of mana is probably more than capable of providing for this fight, but just in case. Um, you know what? Come to think of it, the only thing that's taking mana is a Sojourner Sash and the Ring of Far Reach, which I'm not really going to be using. I actually have another ring slot. I'm going to make a ring that's going to help me here. I'll have to decide what ring I want to make. Um... I may actually, you know what? Runic shielding might be a really good idea. Ooh, mundane ring. And we do have an odd number, so I have one that's across from an empty pedestal. All the others are matching. as well eat while I'm waiting. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Oh, yeah, that took a long time. Awesome. Nice. Wait. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> better give me more than one heart. I think it's, let's see, what is that? Runic shielding, five. One more thing. I promise this time. <laughs> the ring of the mantle. This is going to give us haste. So that way we'll be able to wield our cleaver much more quickly. Because otherwise it's quite slow. And we can remove the Ring of the Far Reach because we don't really need that while we're fighting the Gaia Guardian. So that gives us haste. So while we're holding this, we're going to get haste 2 and Mining Fatigue 3, which will actually, just for comparison's sake, here's without it. Whoa. Here is with it. Whoops. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> nice. So now we have the strength of the cleaver, but without the uh, slowness of it. Awesome. Do I look ready? <laughs> I feel ready. Check this out. I just noticed this. See that little thing on my head? N no, because it's not there. But when I put my thing on, when I have the whole set of armor, I get that little gem on my head. So that, that makes me feel better. Phew. All right, here we go. Oh, whoops. Shift. What? As hard as you try, the beacon will not accept your sacrifice. You believe the ritual grounds might be improper. It might be a good idea to check for obstructions on the nearby area. What? All right, let's try this again. So it turns out you actually need a 12 block radius cleared around this thing. Yes, that is a radius. <laughs> <laughs> Not a 12 by 12 space, 12 blocks in every direction. So we basically need a 25 by 25 space. Okay, there we go. Hooray! Let's bring this down. I'm just going to start right away with this. What? Okay. Oh, let's try this. Where is he? Just send a bunch of these guys after him. They don't really seem to hurt him. Crap. Okay. 
You know what? We are not damaging him at all. Oh, what? Oh, that freaking sucks. Okay. <laughs> Used to be able to damage him with the shock focus, but I guess that is no longer the case. Oh, that sucks. So I guess we're back to chasing him around. Gonna have to keep coming back over here because that's where we're getting our regen from that flower. And without regen, there's just I don't have a chance here. <laughs> Come on. So this is why I wanted to, wanted to restrict him to a smaller space because otherwise you spend all your time just chasing him. But I guess that's kind of part of the point. <laughs> it's part of the challenge. So, yep, the cleaver is it, it looks like. Good thing. Oh, you know what? Did I even. I didn't do the haste, did I? Oh, I did. <laughs> that scared me for a second. Without the haste. We're not going to be able to get very many hits in very quickly. And he does tend to come back to the beacon a lot, so if I hang around near the beacon where I get my regen... Oh wow, we're already to this point. Okay, now I can start using this. Whoa! No, no! <laughs> come on! Stupid beacon! Ugh. I don't really have time for the nine hells. <laughs> oh, I wish he wasn't right there by my flower. <laughs> okay, that wasn't so bad. Hey, where's our music? <laughs> we already lost our music. Where you at? Where you at? Crazy. Come on, come over here. <laughs> come over here and fight like a man. I don't know if he really is a man though. <laughs> he may look like a man because he looks like me. Ooh, we're done. We did it. Awesome. Woohoo! <laughs> nice. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, we got a Wither Skeleton Skull out of the deal. Nice. <clears throat> okay, actually, let's see how much mana we used in that. Oh, all our stuff. I put all our stuff over here. Oh my gosh, that was... I didn't even use any potions at all. I did get hungry. You know what? We might, we might go Tier 2 today. I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> I didn't think we'd be able to do it this soon, but that actually went really well. Got eight guy of spirits, and that's all we get from him. It's the second tier guy that we get all the really good stuff from. But the guy of spirits are definitely going to help us. So I'm going to actually, let's go craft a few things with our... Oh, I cannot fly because my thermostatic harness is in here. Let's go craft a few things with guy of spirits. One of the first things I would like to make is... Um, actually, after I clean up my inventory a little bit. Actually, let's put the Gaia Spirits in there. I would like to take this guy, our Sojourner Sash, and if we hover over it and hit U, we can see that we can make the Globetrotter Sash with it. We need two Elementium and a Gaia Spirit. Hooray! Okay, that was not a dupe bug, it just appeared to be a dupe bug, and now it's gone. Okay, weird. Crazy. Now, oh my gosh, look what that did to our armor. Uh, 
Maybe it's time to make some elementium armor. Elementium armor is a thumbcraft armor. It only gives you iron protection, but it has a multiplying effect kind of like this does when you wear a whole suit of it. And, um, so, oh yeah, we are definitely faster. I am not sprinting right now. Now I'm sprinting. Nice. So this is a multiplied effect because not only do we, <laughs> look at that jump. Not only do we have the Globetrotter Sash that we just made, but we also have the Boots of the Traveler. Let's see what happens when we take those off. So we're, we're pretty fast, but not as fast. But it's, it's still pretty crazy fast. Nice. So if we did do all Elementium armor, um, we wouldn't have as much protection, but we'd have the Pixies going after the Gaia Guardian for us. Seems easier than he used to, but I think... It may be because I've gotten used to the tier 2 guy guardian, because I usually only fight this guy maybe once or twice. And then I just do the, gu the tier 2 after that. Oh, that mana pool is actually looking pretty low. Crap, I didn't even check that <laughs> before this fight. I do not want to run out of mana, that would be really bad. I love this haste. You can really get a get a few good wax in every time. It's not fair that he can hit me from wherever he is, and I have to chase him around. But he is the boss. Man, this is great, that canade. It's like I'm hardly losing losing any hearts. I'm just getting them all right back. There really is a big difference between Regen 2 and Regen 3. You know what's great about the bats is they keep them away from you. They keep the mobs away from you, even though it takes them a while to kill the mobs. Then the skeleton. I love this shock focus. It really it's one of my favorite weapons in Minecraft. <laughs> oh no! Not poison! Holy crap, she is a strong witch! What's going on here? Crap. What the? Why can I not kill that witch? <laughs> what the heck? These frickin' witches! Tougher than this frickin' guy guardian! <laughs> what is going on? Professional, she's a professional witch. There we go. Jeez, she almost, almost lost me this fight. Oh, you know what? My freaking sword is dead. Oh my god, I've been just hitting him. Ugh. Crap. <laughs> it's basically when your tinker sword breaks. It's basically you're just hitting him with your hand, pretty much. With this guy, he's got what, like 500 hearts? <laughs> 500 health points? That would take forever. There we go. Man, I was wondering why the heck that was taking so long. Phew! We are now doing the tier 2 guy guardian. This guy. <sighs> this guy makes the last one look easy.